Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin, and this is a quick video about a feature you may not know about inside of Nearpod. And it actually replaces a different app called Edpuzzle. And what this feature does is it allows you to, once you're logged into Nearpod, you can press create here. And of course you could always create a lesson. Uh, we can go ahead and add different types of content within the lesson itself, or you can go right to the second option here, which is that add puzzle type of feature where we can go ahead and get a video and then be able to embed questions within the video and assign it to our students. So how do we do that? We're going to press create and then video and then Nearpod is going to give us a variety of different options. The first one is because we have a premium subscription, we can actually access Nearpod's library of a bunch of different videos of varying content types and grade levels. You can take a look at that. You can also toggle, I think here, the state uh, standards to be able to go ahead and search for videos related to those. The next thing you can do is go to YouTube here and then just search either a link off of YouTube. You already know which link you're looking for. Or for example, I can type in directions here in Spanish and it'll give me basically any videos that kind of go within that. For example, this giving and following directions in Spanish, like the one that I actually created here. So once we've got a video, we can choose it. I could also, by the way, pick it. Once I work with any videos, you'll see they start appearing in this my video section, or I can click upload video. And for example, you recorded a screencast like the one that I'm doing right now. You can just drag and drop it right into here. Just watch out because it, ha it has a max file size of 100 megabytes. So you may be better off either putting it into Drive or putting it onto YouTube and then bringing it back in if it's really a large video. Anyway, once you have a video and you've chosen something, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this one that I've been working on here. And basically my video will be imported and I have a variety, a few different options to go ahead and choose from. The first one that I can go ahead and use is this add activity. And there's really only two different activities inside of near, this Nearpod, which are open-ended questions and you have to grade these yourself or multiple choice questions, which you can uh, dictate what are the answers and it can auto grade for you. And I can place this just like a Nearpod wherever I want as far as within the video. For example, here at 147, I click the add uh, activity button and I choose which ones are the questions I want there. I can also, for example, if this video was too long, I can press this little trim button and I can trim either side of the video to go ahead and cut off parts that I didn't really even want. Okay. And then I can press save here. It says trim and save. Yep. And then the video will be saved there along with the questions. Cool. Once we're done working with the video, you notice I'm back now at the my lessons part here inside of Nearpod. How do we actually assign it to the students? A couple different ways you can do that. You can actually present it right in front of the class. So this is a great option. I know some teachers do this. You have the video, but you also have the embedded question. So it pauses at certain points and you can have the class answer. Or you can do student paste, which this is the one that we're going to use because we want to put it inside of Schoology. Or of course, you could just do live participation, have students log in. And then as the video is going, they can go ahead and um, participate each individually answering the questions. So this one and this one are very similar. This one is kind of like the whole group uh, participating here. I'm going to choose the middle one though here, student pays because I actually want to put it inside of Schoology. I could give the students these directions, join nearpod.com and then give them this code. That's too clunky for me. So I'd rather either copy the link or even better, I could press this little embed code here. And then it gives me some code here where I can say, hey, I want to insert either a small, a medium, or a large version of this. I'm just going to do the small version of this and press copy. Then I'm going to go to Schoology. And for example, let's go ahead and start from the beginning here so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm going to press add materials and add assignment. I could also do this with page, but I'm going to pretend I'm going to give an assignment here. And I would give whatever the directions are here. Let's just call it video. And then down here, usually you put directions, but I'm going to click this little toggle button right here. Let me zoom in here. This little toggle to switch to HTML. So let me, this is the normal view. This is the HTML view. And now I'm going to paste with command V or control V. Now it's the, the coding is there and I go to just choose my dates here. What 
uh, category goes in and so on and so forth to create the assignment itself. And then when I click on the assignment, let's just click on this one, we should see the embedded Nearpod right here. The students will have to type in their name to be able to participate in the activity. And I think it does pop them out to a different tab, uh, depending upon what kind of device you're actually using here. But anyway, once they part they do this, it automatically logs it back here inside of Nearpod. So for example, I can go to this one here and I can click these three little buttons. So at the end of the day or at the end of the week, you're like, oh, I wonder who did what. I can click this and click report and then it'll tell me who did the assignment and what even, uh, let's call it, uh, how many out of however many they got right or wrong. So if you wanted to go ahead and kind of tally up that kind of stuff and make sure that the students actually did what they were supposed to do, uh, then that's it. Cool. So super easy to use. Instead of using Edpuzzle, we can use Nearpod to go ahead and do this exact same thing. If you have questions about this or anything else, let me know. Thank <laughs> you.